to another edition of Great Health, Abundant and Happiness, and Outrageous Love, Travel Edition. We're here, this is the first room we came in late yeah. last night, and uh, they put us in here, we're moving rooms, so I thought we'd just show this one to you. It's, this is either one or four, we'll put it down below, but one I think it's one, down. Karen thinks it's four, but it's on the end, so it's right. one or the other. This is a suite? It's a suite, absolutely beautiful. Um, our reservations got messed up. Our own fault, uh, the airline canceled, so we canceled the night, and then the airline went back on, so we came back in early, and we arrived here about 9.30. I cannot tell you how generous and welcoming they made us feel, even though they weren't expecting us. So, um, and this reservation was done through booking.com. We were unable to book through the Masseria directly. Um, I'm not sure why but we weren't so we did it through booking.com and as far as i'm concerned aside from the night mix up it worked out beautifully so this is considered a deluxe suite we did stay here last night so apologize i made the bed as, as best i could and as quickly as i could and i love look at how high the ceilings are and there is gorgeous stone and what we've learned is that the um the farm hands used to live in these uh rooms so quite elegant they'd be laughing at us though for paying what we paid although i will say masseria franciscana or franciscani i think is how you pronounce it this is heaven on earth it is a hidden gem and a bargain and the breakfast that came with it this morning was worth what we paid for the nightly rate so i highly recommend staying here um, anyway, gorgeous fireplace. We are here in the summertime. It is the end of August and quite warm here. Gorgeous little coffee bar. They have some um, um, chips over there. I believe there's a charge for the chips and there are some things in the mini bar. We'll take a look because we haven't even... Yeah, we're doing a full-blown tour. Honey, we got to go to the other room. I don't want to rush you, but... But, I'm okay, gonna go so to the beach. There is a little fridge here. It's pretty, That's the pretty dark. It's pretty dark in here. Just is so that, you know, okay, yeah. there's yeah. actually... Uh, let me see. There we go. So uh, there's a wine up here. Oops. Oh, wow, Jeffrey. It's a good thing we yeah. didn't find that last night. Yeah, look there. We didn't need it. Quite the uh, supplies we, in there. We had di dinner next door. It was incredible. And again, we've stayed here, but on cleanliness on a one to five, five plus. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to do a quick look through Check here. Check out this tub. The tub's there. really deep. Yes. It's really cool, yeah. Jeff and I took a beautiful bath in there when we got home from dinner last night. By the way, dinner uh, started at about 9.30, 9.45. We got home just after 11. They do things a little bit different here in Italy, and I'm not going to lie, I like it. All right, let's see what outside. we got a little private garden here. Outside, olive tree. Uh, a little seating area, so we got a little sun Jeffy, here this I morning. I think you mentioned this is a pet friendly um, masseria, and Sugar Baby is here with us. You can get a cute picture of her. Okay. But she loves this little courtyard. And this is our own private little courtyard. Yep. Get a nice shot of Sugar Baby. Okay, where is she? Her. Oh, there she is. Take a little nap there. She's such a good dog. Really you guys that watch our videos, you know, she's an old lady, she's blind, she goes with us. But anyway, so Karen, I'm going to wrap this up because yeah, we've got to move to the next one. Before you do, Jeffrey, just go ahead up the stairs because there is another beautiful room up there. And then you can also get a great picture from below. And again, we slept in the bed. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was great. So there's a little sitting room up here, a little window. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's a humidifier or something. So didn't spend too much time looking around here, but this is great. So Karen, let's wrap this up. We're gonna go to the next one. Great health, abundant happiness, and now outrageous love from Torre Chianca, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Italy. And this is the Messeria Franciscani. Nice. Thanks for watching. Ciao.
Welcome to another travel edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Mm -hmm. We are in uh, Torre Chianta, I think is how you pronounce it, but please don't quote me. Um, Italy, and this is Masseria Franciscani. Again, don't quote me on the pronunciation there. We're working on it. We're working on it, but this is heaven on earth. This was such a fine Jeffrey. First of all, it is unbelievably affordable. It includes a breakfast that is so fresh. Um, I had all fresh vegetables. Jeffrey had some fruits and you had uh, croissant with um, fresh jams in it. That was great. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, this place, I don't even know if I want to do the video because I don't want the word to get out. Oh, on one hand, but it's on not the like other we're going to be hanging here for too long. We're going to be here for a week. I so know. By the time they see it and come over, that's we're, good for them. We'll be gone, and hopefully there'll be plenty of rooms. But I just want to say, first of all, the staff is unbelievable. One person is more generous and kind than the next. They're very proud of this area, as they should be. This masseria is stunning. Um, it is all renovated. I believe that they recently opened. Um, this is the pool area, which look at this. Let me just take a shot of the pool gorgeous. behind me here. It's incredible. So beautiful. The grounds here are just uh, impeccable. Oh beautiful. So these these so masserias are really like uh, farms. I guess there was they grew some tobacco here. They said That's right. What she said. Uh, animals mm -hmm. on this property, and uh, they're they're speckled around this whole area in Puglia. Where basically people are redoing it, but there's a lot that are still sitting there like that need to be redone. Right. Yeah. Jeffrey, get, um, you have to see the sky behind us. Can you see that? Yeah. It is so. It's going to show through, but yeah, gorgeous. it's gorgeous. Yeah. And the building that's, that's there, um, there is an outdoor eating area that looks all over back there that is just so beautiful. And I think there's some um, lime trees. I think they call them limo. They have a different <laughs> word for everything here in Italy. <laughs> but tonight, and we'll we'll post some pictures. Tonight, um, they have a special chef that comes in. I can't remember. They they've got a word for that too. And we'll post that down below. Um, and anyway, she comes in and cooks only for the guests, and it's one hundred and fifty dollars per couple. I don't know how many courses it is. I think at least four courses. It includes wine, etc. some pictures uh, I think right after this video we'll just drop some uh, single shots in so you can see it but yeah this place is fantastic we're very excited and we are working on our Italian we spent a lot of time in Costa Rica so uh, in, in Mexico so I feel like you know my Spanish is kind of so-so but uh, Italian just learning so we're, we're excited to learn it and we're gonna work on it so excited yeah um, and I, I just want to say I can't get over the value of this Nesseria I just I'm, I'm just floored yeah, with great. what we're getting for what we paid for. We're here for four nights. I want to say everything included, taxes, etc. And the breakfast um, was around $1,100. Yeah, it's great. So great value. Do the math, but the breakfast alone was worth what we paid for a night. And we've been in two different rooms. Uh, we came a little bit unexpected. Mm -hmm and they put us in uh, one suite, which is almost identical. We've got a video on the one that we are originally in. It's a little bit larger um, than the one that we're in. Other than that, the layout and the, the look of it is identical. Ours is just slightly smaller, and it actually worked out a little better for us because it's easier to pull down, and it is warm here this time of year, and Jeffrey gets super, super. Actually, it's, um, nice, it's nice and cool here tonight. Tonight it's yeah. beautiful, but in the daytime, and last night it was quite warm. Yeah. Um, and so Jeffrey does enjoy that air conditioning, and this our room is just slightly smaller than the other one, so it's cooling down oh, yeah. a little bit yeah, quicker. But um, if you have Italy on your radar and you're going to southern Italy, put this masseria on your calendar. I promise you, you will not regret it. It's beautiful. Great help, abundant happiness, and outrageous love in Torres, Chianca, Italy. Okay, guys, we'll see you. Thanks for watching.
Oh my God, Karen. So they've already seen the picture of the first course, which was incredible. <laughs> but it's almost embarrassing how much food. So this is then the main course, I believe. What do you have there? Mine is gnocchi, which is gluten-free um, and vegan with a tomato and eggplant sauce. I'm super excited. And Jeffrey's is um, penne, which is not gluten-free, but vegan with the same uh, tomato and eggplant uh, sauce sauteed in olive oil. I have to say they're olive oil. They brought some and they brought me some gluten-free bread. It is like out of this world. It's got this really creamy grassy texture or uh, taste. Uh, it's very smooth. The texture is smooth but the taste is super grassy and just so flavorful, very different than the olive oils that uh, we've had to experience in the States. So anyway, bye-bye because I am going to Oh wait, no. Up. So oh, you have what? a correction on the um, the chef here. They call her yes. the Messiah. The Messiah. We had Which earlier said we didn't know what the word was. You said was. began with an M, M yes. so you're correct. <clears throat> so Messiah means local cooker. And they said it's usually a mother or a grandmother who loves to cook and they'll invite them to the Masserias. And this particular Messiah only cooks at this Masseria is what we're told. And these meals are only for guests of the Masseria. They don't want to have a restaurant per se because they like the peace and the tranquility that they have here. She said the only noise that you should hear while you're here is, are the birds. Yeah. And you know, with the restaurant, right. you get a lot more. Let me let me pan the vibrance and the let, noise. Let the me birds. pan the rest of this restaurant just to make yeah. sure there's no other noises. <laughs> As you can see, this is a private dinner just for Jeffrey and I, and that's the way these dinners are meant to be, and it is so romantic, it is so beautiful, beyond abundant, and so delicious. Okay.